Hi Taurus, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your weekly love reading for the week, uh, second week of May, uh, May 7th through, I'm going to say the 15th, May 7th through the 15th through the 4th, the sign of Taurus. Generally my readings are love readings, take what uh, resonates, leave the rest. If you're looking for a quick reading within 24 hours, you know, a little quick mini mini reading, you can, you can catch me on Instago if you have an iPhone. If you're looking for a longer reading, you know, even 24 hours or the five business days, you'll find the information below. We're going to get one of these and one of these and reveal it at the end. Sign of Taurus. What does Taurus need to know? Oh, I guess that's it. for the sign of Taurus. What does Taurus need to know? Remember, timing is fluid. This could have happened, maybe happening now, or could be in the future. Always could be vice versa as well. The Instago readings are just 10 bucks. Taurus. Taurus. Huh. You're headed in the right direction very, very quickly. Things are happening fast. Okay? You could be dealing with a cancer. Whatever is happening is happening quickly. Okay? You're headed in the right direction. There's victory and success. Something has ended. Maybe you've been through a period of recuperation, of rest, you know, and it feels like you're, you're taking, you're becoming alive again after a period of emptiness, per se. Yeah, something has ended. There's been like an ending. There has, and it's over. This emptiness, there's, there's, there's been like uh, the death of an idea. Something has ended, and now you are moving forward in a new, better direction. You've released something. You've been, these are both transformation cards, Taurus. So you guys have gone through some sort of transformation. Life-changing alteration, put it that way. There's still a little bit of uh, anxiety, though, you know, because sometimes transformation is, is scary. It is. It's scary. You know, it can be a little overwhelming. Could You could get a little overwhelmed with these thoughts. Things are happening so fast. You're changing so quickly. It could be causing a little bit of uh, mental anxiety or despair because, you know, change isn't easy. So, you know, you may have been become emotionally unavailable For a period of time, you may have been closed off, hurt. You may have decided that you are going to release some hurt, hurt finally, so that you could start a new beginning. You've been stalling, it appears. Um, there's been a feeling or a time of restlessness, being naive. And now it's like the future is in your own hands and the future outcome is yet to be told. I can't tell you what it is because it's all in your hands. It's all how you look at things. It's about the action that you take. You have an opportunity to start something new, but you're going to have to take a risk. If you don't take this risk, if you're scared to take a risk, then you're going to continue to feel unfulfilled emotionally. Anyway, somebody needs to take this risk and not, and not let fear hold them back if you're still stuck. The future is literally in your hands. The time is now. This is when Uranus comes into our sign on May 15th. This is to May 15th. So the energies may be coming in now. I'm not an astrologer. But the future is literally in your hands. You have the power to choose which direction you're going to go. Oh, goodness. Somebody from the past... Or somebody new, this could be, I don't friggin' know, okay? 
so, you know, somebody from the past that is that may have hurt you. Maybe you're releasing that person fully, releasing somebody who hurt you from the past. That could certainly be the case. Maybe you've been naive in the past because of this person, and now you've decided to move away. You're headed out of that scenario. It's over. It's dead. So you are deciding to get your life back on track. No longer am I going to be taken advantage of by this person from the past. Because they weren't emotionally available, they, they didn't offer me the love that I deserve, so I'm letting them go. I am taking the future in my own hands, even if it scares me. I have the confidence and the courage and the willpower to take the lead and be the boss of my own life. And I can't, I'm not going to let anybody hold me back. The naysayers can freaking jump off a cliff or something, whatever. I don't need to have you around. Anyhow, um, whoever this person is from your past, they don't have anything good to say. They're probably not happy about your victory and success. Whoever you're dealing with probably doesn't like that you're moving forward. They could be watching you from afar and seeing that you are progressing. Okay, so beware that you could be dealing with somebody who is jealous or unhappy with your forward movement. Yeah, maybe somebody wants a second chance and you're not going to give it to them. That could be the case. There's been too much fighting. There's been some family feuds. So somebody or prop, some of you are still in a situation where there's fighting and there's feuding and there's somebody is thinking about leaving a family or moving out or getting away from a situation. Somebody is thinking about the discontent that they've been going through and they're ready to remove themselves from the situation. That's what's happening here. Somebody is, is the secret is about to come out. It's about to be revealed. The truth is coming out. And you, it could come out um, a little harshly, not the way you expect it. It could cause some mild conflicts for you or whoever this person is in the past or the people that you're dealing with. There could be some conflicts because some truth comes out and causes a fight or an argument within the home. Could cause a breakup, a split. Whatever's happened, whatever you're letting go of, there's no stability left there. It's dead. It's dead. And you know it is. Okay? But that death card right next to the Four of Swords, you're dealing with something from the past that is dead. And this person may finally come to reveal their truth, you know, how they really truly feel. They might come to reveal it because they've been watching you and they see that you're succeeding. And who knows how you're going to handle it. You're going to be like, ha! Huh! Karma's a bitch, isn't it? Whoever you were dealing with in this past, when they come back, if they come back, that you're thinking about, that's holding you back, that's caused you all this hurt that I see, and you, you think about giving them another chance, whoever this person is, they, they, all they did was judge you and criticize you and fight with you. Why would you want them back? And I can see that you're indecisive and, you're, and you may think about doing, what's the right thing for me? I have to do the right thing for me. But who else, you, whoever you were dealing with from the past, they were not fully committed. And they see that you have, you have gained momentum and that you are starting to feel victorious and successful. So it feels like somebody has been watching you move along your journey. They've been watching you from afar. And that's what it looks like to me. And they're about to bring some mild conflicts into your life. Something has ended. There's been some sort of betrayal. It's, it's like there's been some sort of complete like a death a death of an idea a relationship it's over and that is justice a karmic debt has been paid 
and now somebody is on the right track to bringing victory and success to themselves in the future by not giving this person another chance by accepting this truth that comes out or realizing the truth that whoever this person was that I was holding on to all they did was criticize me, misjudge me, fight with me, and attack me. And that is a betrayal, an ultimate betrayal. I don't need to fight. I don't need these feuds. It's about time for me to do the right thing for me and move the heck out of this situation. Now I want to know, what about love? Is there, is there love or what? I mean, that's what I'm talking about. This person from the past is, is uh, a no. No. Don't do it. Don't. Mm -mm. The only reason they want you now is because they see that you've moved on. Got it? You've healed. You've started to mend. You're, getting, you're putting yourself back in the game. You're doing the right thing for you. You're ready. You're ready to start over. You're ready to start from the ground up. You may be receiving some sort of apology from somebody. But whoever this person is doesn't lead to wish fulfillment. It does not. There's no hope here. So do not hold on to this. Whoever this is that you have finally healed from. You have a new opportunity. It's time to stand up for yourself. Do what's right for you above all. Put yourself first. You do not deserve to be criticized and judged. Keep your guard up. Keep it up. You've gained a lot of strength. You've come a really long way and you've learned a lot. Don't let somebody take away all the hard work that you've done. This, I believe, you know, there, there's nothing new and solid here. With somebody from your past. And that's the message for this week. I don't see anything about new love. I don't. I feel like there is a past person that is haunting you. And you're trying, you're indecisive. And you need to hear that it doesn't lead to anything solid and stable. Or balanced or harmonious or peaceful. All it leads to more criticism, more misjudgments, more fighting, more feuds. You have went through a transformation, Taurus. You're still going through a transformation that leads to complete victory and success. You've done a lot of healing. Don't let somebody come in here from your past, from your past, and mess up all the work that you have done because they haven't changed. There's still no commitment here. There's still no love here. The Ace of Cups isn't here. The Two of Cups isn't here. The Ten of Cups isn't here. Whoever this person is from the past, it's not about love. It's about them seeing where you are right now and wanting to take back the control. All of a sudden, they have fear of growing old alone or growing old without you all of a sudden. Where have they been? Not with you. I just happened to flip it over. It doesn't lead to happily ever after. I'm sorry to bring you this message from the national broadcast channel. I'm just kidding. I'm, it's not. Damn it, I shouldn't have said that. But anyway, this is some Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot. Anyway. <laughs> um, there's no happiness there. None. Let's get a couple of these. You know, I kind of find it funny that there's no love for you guys. New love. 
because I have new love and I'm a Taurus. Maybe I'm ready. Maybe I've, I've already released this situation. So this is for everybody that, you know, that is still thinking about that person from the past. I, I've, I've went through my transformation. I have totally let it go. And now I have this new wonderful love in my life. The opportunity is there for you. Should you not hold on to this past critical, judgmental, argumentative person. Moody. Mm -mm. Ooh, that goal of control issues. Allow this situation to unfold natu naturally. You can't control it. We've already talked about this in, in previous readings. Breathe. The breath is the vital bridge between your body and soul. It's the connection between the inside and outside connecting you to the universe, spirit, and the divine source. The breath permeates your entire being, being with prana, which is the same life-giving force that nourishes everything in the universe. Breathe. Feel. Listen to your inner guide. Just because you're lonely, don't go back to somebody who was, I would say, abusive. Just because they see how far you've come and where you're at, they don't want to lose that control. So that's when they come back, when they know that you're gone. Anyhow, this is what I have for this week. Be careful. Be careful. Maybe they see you've found a new love. I don't know. Talk to you later.